So what is the problem here? Let's take a look at two assets that we need to do an intervention on. We have asset A and asset B, uh, one transmission structure and one transformer, and we're both looking to replace each of these. The tower costs $150,000 and is currently 37 years old, whereas the transformer would cost $1.5 million and is currently 52 years old. From here, you can probably make a pretty decent educated guess into which one is more valuable to do to your company or organization. But if we add a couple more criteria, such as the reliability risk, if we replace this, what our reduction in the CMI would be, uh, improvement in safety risk, as well as the required people, resources, and labor hours needed to do each of these interventions would be, uh, reduced maintenance and operating expenses, as well as uh, helping with wildfire risk. And if we start adding all of these different criteria to the mix, how do you make a good decision on which one of these interventions to do? So that with only two assets, it's probably very easy to, or probably easier to make that decision and compare and contrast your engineering design and technical design for each of these interventions. But what if we have more than two assets? We have different types of assets, and they're all located in different areas in a service region. As you can see, some utilities, some organizations may have more uh, diverse asset population, and we need to be able to compare where we're spending our money and uh, resources to do those interventions and ensure that our assets are sustained. What Copperleaf does is we do this calculation for you, uh, taking in all the inputs that you're providing for your asset population. With just two interventions, so the first two uh, assets that we're seeing there, and four years, we have 16 possible timings to compare against and determine which one of these will give you the best value, uh, the most return for your spend. As we increase the number of assets that we need to compare, as well as the number of years we need to compare them across, this number gets bigger and bigger. So four interventions in four years gets us to 256, and then 400 different assets over four years gets us over 25 billion different intervention timings. And as each intervention has a different value curve, uh, solving for the best timing becomes virtually impossible for humans to do. So we need to plug it into software to spit out an optimal solution for us. 